and we have to separate ourselves from the world because the world is telling us that there's scarcity, but nature has never shown us scarcity. The only time that it operates in scarcity is through stress, right? So if you think about climate change being a stress for the planet Earth, we too, we women have experienced our own form of climate change, right? So our wounds have been tra traumatized. They have gone through a lot of experiences that have ripped them away from their connection to, to, the, to, the, to the planet Earth. The planet has rhythm, right? The planet, planet has consistency. And if we watch and follow all those things, we'll be able to root ourselves and heal ourselves and connect our, ourselves back to nature, which is our, our main mom. You know, she is telling us what to do if we just watch and pay attention. And so I talk a lot about that with Fort Nagvita is being able to watch and pay attention and mimic nature because it knows what to do. And if we ever have any questions, we can think to ourselves, well, what would nature do in this case? Would it be wasteful? Would it um, use more than it needs? Would it, would it, you know, go out and buy something brand new? It wouldn't. And so what I adopted in my lifestyle is a zero waste, are zero waste habits, but they're much so ancestral habits. So instead of using, you know, depending on disposable water bottles or disposable plates and cups and that kind of thing, I bring my own because I already have it. Why do I need to use a plastic spoon or a plastic fork if I got a drawer, a cabinet full of them at home when I can just put one in my pocket and boom, now I don't have to use a reusable, excuse me, a disposable. Same thing goes for cloth napkins. And today we use or we learn how to make reusable menstrual pads because if we can have our own right if you can always have your own menstrual pads why do you need to go to the grocery store to get all the kotex and the tampax 